NPR on the Carnival uh, Sunrise ship, and it's early in the morning. We're doing a surf fishing expedition today, so super excited. Here's Andy. We're going to be doing it together. Super pumped. Check this out. First thing in the morning on a cruise ship. This is what it looks like. Head up to the dock. Yeah. To the deck where we can see everything. So there is where we're headed. There's Princess K's little island over there. There's beaches all around the whole island. So we're gonna have little transport boats taking us back and forth, shuttling us back and forth. So we'll see you on the transport boat. All loaded up. I can't believe how many people they fit on this boat. We're heading away from the ship. Look how crystal clear this water is. This is amazing. Look at this place. Now we're at the information booth. We've got to figure out where we're going. So now we're waiting in line to get on the bus and take us to where we're going to be surf fishing. This is quite a journey. Here we are. This is where we're going to be fishing. Here's our poles. All right, sir, so I'd like to start out by, uh, by this. This is only a one minute briefing tomorrow, and at the main here, pilchers. We have catch them. Oh, okay. Yes, they really call it little tails here, they call some boots here, and they call it guy called a barracuda here, and like, we have some ducks running around. This is safe fishing, 101, safe fishing. They say, rocky front, just like how they said in the workshop, the yellow water swimming through the fish, cover the tank. Okay, I'd like to start out like this. My name is James, Captain James. I'm from Illustra. Where are you from? What's your name and where are you from? All right, finally. We got through the briefing and we're allowed to start fishing. So we can go to just about our knee level. It's about, about right here. Wait, there's like no weight on this. I'm used to using two and three ounce, two, three, four ounce sinkers and these are so light. Oh, sweet. Just watching this bobber to see if it goes down. Well, something's chewing on it. It's not taking it all the way though. This is awesome. Got our ship in the background there. I'm gonna check this in a few minutes and see if it's still on. Hey, this guy got a fish. All right, there's Andy. He's gonna be throwing his bait out. There we go, we'll get him casting. Not too bad, not too shabby. Andy grew up fishing in ponds and creeks and all kind of stuff out in Indiana. He's definitely not new to fishing either. Okay, I've got this back out there with a strip of um, squid. All the fish is gone, so I gotta use squid. I'll probably go back and get some fish though in a minute if this doesn't work. But I got a, a strip instead of the whole squid head. Something had bit the head off of that squid and it just had the body left. So maybe the strip will do better. I'm not used to this rod. The end of it, it's kind of like, it's broken off. I might show them that and see if there's a different one I can use. different rod here. I've got a fish head on here instead of that squid. And I've got a rod that has a butt on it. So, so this is a brand new reel. This is beautiful. I've got people in boats, people in kayaks. The snorkeling over here. I really wish I had brought fish bites. About an hour left wasn't a lot of time by the time we got here and they went through all their debriefing. There was a lot of things they had to say before they could get us fishing. So let's check and see if this bait is still on. Yep, it's still there. Let's see if I can get it out farther. That's a better cast. Hello! 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 Hey! 
somebody started trying to snorkel right where we're fishing. I guess it's not just Florida. It's too bad the tide wasn't out just a bit more. If it was, we could get we could get these lines out where the fish are at. Captain James hooking me up with a good spot. I'm gonna put this bait down. And we're gonna get this out here. Check this out, it's so pretty. It's like my own private little fishing hole. I'm glad he let me come down here. I'm sure that spot right in front of the, the station there is like overfished. Wish this had just, if it had a half an ounce of weight bigger. I mean, then it probably wouldn't float. Hence the idea of a float rig. So yeah, that probably wouldn't work. So since we're in the Bahamas, it might be appropriate for me to sing a Bahama song. Here's a little song I wrote. Gonna sing it no for no, don't worry. Be happy, don't worry. Be happy, but don't worry. Oh no, but be happy. Can't help but be happy out here, look at this. It's so pretty. I just need to catch a fish. Oh, the eyes are all, <laughs> the eyes are all eaten out of it. So those little bitty fish are doing a number on it. I'm gonna rebate and get another piece out. So I actually caught a small fish and then this extremely dumb human that was snorkeling in front of me. I was fishing, then I went out and got my bait, cast it right back. The guy saw me casting. So he went right directly in front of me. It was a dead giveaway. I mean, dead giveaway that I was fishing. I think this guy was from Belgium or something because he had like this broken English. And I let him get snagged in my line on purpose because he was an idiot. And what happened was he got snagged in my line and I said, you're snagged in my line. And he said, oh, oh, okay. And guess what? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Listen, if you are snorkeling, don't snorkel in front of someone fishing. That's yeah, the moral of that's story. really dumb to do. So I don't do that. Human. I caught a human, a really stupid one. Probably the biggest thing that anyone's caught so far. Well, definitely. That guy was pretty big. So I was trying to get a picture of Andy. I thought nothing's happening. And all of a sudden, the second I get my phone out in my hand, when I can't reel, something grabbed this and I felt my line jerk and I was like, oh no, go figure. The second that I could not reel, something got on my line and then jumped off. Okay, so they let me come down a little bit further. It's like something might be messing with it. So many little tiny fish just pecking away at this bait. He said we have 30 more minutes. That happened while the camera was dead. See, we got 30 more minutes because we started late. We were supposed to be done in five minutes. Got a little bit more time. Well, we need our lures. Shiny, shiny, one ounce lures to throw and retrieve fast. A barracuda, they like to chase things. A nice one ounce ES lure. Oh yeah, silver. Retrieving that nice and fast. Probably snag a barracuda that way. Easy. You know, for people who come down here, like there's a couple from Ohio, this is probably like amazing. Because no matter, I mean, even if you're not catching anything, this is beautiful. You're seeing this blue green water. It's gorgeous. Just gonna try. There's a rock that's sticking up a little bit higher. I can see it under the surface right here. Looks like something's tugging it. It went down a little bit. Come on, take it. See, something's playing with it. I hope it's not just tiny fish. I need the hungriest fish in this whole area right now. We got two minutes, so I'm just gonna pack it up here. We'll get rid of this bait. Doesn't look like anything even bit on this one. So these are the fish that were caught today. These are all muttons, or the, the red ones are mutton? This mutton here. Okay. He's oh, and then yellow tail. He's yellow tail. Okay. He's okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. 
And this lady here, what was her name? Yeah. Olga. Olga, you caught the the second <laughs> one. Awesome. And it's big. I mean, I, yeah. I had a hard time bringing it in. Yeah, that's a good size fish. Doing something out of <laughs> 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 good job. Yep, come out. I mean, yeah. he, he bit me the first time and he wow. me, and then I jacked it back and I got it. Yeah. Who got the big one? Yeah, the big one, my husband. Oh, awesome. Other. Yeah. Only one more. Yeah. Okay. And that was that. Yeah, awesome. All right, so we had a fun time surf fishing. We're heading back to the buffet. But uh, Andy caught a dumb human. <laughs> I had something that jumped on the line and it popped off, and then I had that little teeny tiny fish. So, yeah. We could have the uh, smallest fish ever caught in the Bahamas. You never know. So, anyways, but if you like this content, Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, push a like on the video, and we'll catch you later.